The Ferryton Fire and EMS station is completely destroyed after an EF3 tornado made a direct hit on the town Thursday evening. Thanks for joining us. Andy and Jackie have the night off. Now as the town cleans up and starts to rebuild, the Fire and EMS department looking for a new station. We have the latest from Chief Paul Dutcher tonight. That is our top story tonight at 10. Chief Dutcher says two firefighters were on duty when the tornado hit. They did manage to make it into the storm shelter, into the stairwell, so uh, they were pretty uh, lucky. Of course, the police dispatcher was sitting in the dispatch center. Uh, she's not hurt. She she was really shaken, but she's she's doing fine. Their fire trucks and ambulances also sustained damage. Uh, the garage doors collapsed in on them. Uh, busting out the windshield, busting out the, uh, uh, crushing the top of the cab, and then we had the uh, brick wall that fell and uh, collapsed on the other fire truck and uh, did severe damage to it. It took a while to clear the debris at the station where Dutcher says several injured people walked in seeking treatment. And they were eventually, I mean, taken to the uh, local hospital with uh, uh, pickups and cars and, and whatever because we couldn't get our units out at that time. So uh, once we got our units out, uh, then we responded to calls uh, as normal. He says they're working out of the expo center for now while they look for another location. We've got a couple of options on some uh, buildings and shops that we're uh, pursuing and uh, seeing if we can make uh, a deal with the owners and, and maybe make a, a temporary location until we decide what we're going to do moving forward. Dutcher says volunteer trucks are functioning and did not receive as much damage as the city's equipment. Personnel are fine. That's that's the number one thing. And, you know, the insurance uh, is going to pay for the, some of the damage. I mean, I don't know what to what extent that'll be, but, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be fine. Dutcher says their initial needs are being met and the department has not suffered any catastrophic losses. He also encourages the community to take care of their neighbors, especially elderly people who might need help cleaning up.